Ooh. That was just a bear. Sound, wasn't it? Oh, it's got some gas to it. Brazzy, hold on. I could beat out ye old gamer, that's for sure. That was nice. All right, guys, welcome back. We are joined by our good friend, Johnny Wonder. J-Dub, how are you? I'm doing well, Mike. This is a big day for me, and uh, I'm excited to be here. Big day in your career. Love it. Love it. We've got uh, Mr. Fraser in the Bay. We've got Cowley's Finest, and we're fitting Fraz into, hopefully, a Paradigm AI smoke driver. It's a lot of work getting Fraz. You know, <laughs> as, as, a, as a dear friend of mine, uh, getting him into, into Callaway product is a challenge. I think we got two spots in his bag right now. They're they're in there. Are they solid? -ish? They're solid. Oh, they're, they're solid. But yeah, I would say <laughs> getting any product in my bag is a challenge. In the sense of not maybe not getting it in there, keeping it in there. Keeping it in there. That's the harder part. So my goal today is to get you into a Callaway driver. And I've called out, I've like called in all the tour heads really that I think of. And I actually went and I did some Jerry rigging on the truck to find some Ian Fraser heads. But we're gonna start with your gamer right sure. now. And just tell everybody what it is. I'm sure everybody knows, but... Well, <clears throat> despite the early exit in the bracket, it is still TSR3. So until the golf course results prove otherwise, this is still the gamer for me. Okay. So I'll try some other stuff. You know, Dark Speed was good. PXG have, have been sort of compelling enough for me to, to think about it. Ping at some point earlier this year was good enough for me to think about it. But when it comes back to it, you know, if I soul search a little bit, I'm still thinking this is the one. And you're pretty efficient with that thing. I've, I've seen you hit enough balls with that. You're, you know, the spin's good. You know, miss hits are decent. Like it's all pretty good all, all rounder. Okay, so what would it take, not to get you to a driver today? It's not like a car salesman, mm. but like, what would you need to notice in our little lab here? What would like what would stand out if you hit a couple of good ones? You're like, oh wait, well, that number's interesting, or that number's interesting. What does Mike, it, what what does it need to do? He needs to not see the. Puffy right miss. We don't need a th and we don't need a spin rate start with a three. Yeah. Ever. Ever. Okay. So even spin. on a miss, a little yeah. bit low, a little bit healy, that is just that's a non-negotiable. The spin rate cannot ever start with a I three. I think Fraz has an issue like launching the ball. So like anything that's we see it 12 and a half, 13 and a half, 14 with yeah. you, but if it's like 1800 to 2000 spin, like that you're happy with that. I mean, obviously not too knuckly, but yeah. the puffy right one. Generally not speaking, exist. I'll, if I lean on the side of lower spin, the misses are in a really good spot, and the swing is very neutral on a good one. So if I have lower spin, it's a really good swing. Because like three up, one and a half out for you is like a good. That's a good drive. That would be swing. that would be nice. I'm I'm trending away from being five and six up towards trying to be maybe like three or four up. Okay. So. When I get a little bit stuck behind it, the high angle attack kicks in. That's when I miss it. And that's when you get that wipey right. It's not even wipey right. It's shubby right. Yeah. Okay. Just like... All right. Well, let's hit a couple with your Titleist. Okay. It's a good driver, TSR3. I would say of all the heads that are out there on the market right now, it's probably the closest one to the triple diamond head that we have. Okay. Now, it's, I guess in the market, not we have. Then. Okay. Now, Thin. did you say a little skinny? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pretty efficient, though. I mean, very finder. Yeah. That was a little closer to the middle, wasn't it? Closer. Yeah. Okay. Do you ever feel? And this is something I want to ask you for a long time. You like lower lofted drivers. I do. Mm. Do you ever felt like sometimes you play with? Have you ever played with more lofts, like playing with face angle yes. a little bit? Totally. Like getting something at plus one that it's maybe pointed a little further left so you can feel like you can cover it a little bit more? So historically for me, I've, I've kind of been stuck behind it, flipping the hands at it. So anytime the face looks upright <clears throat> and left, gives me the fear. Now it, you're going to do it more. Now I'm going to do mm. it more. What I'm working towards in my swing right now, which is more of this sort of delivery, that would be much more appealing when my path gets a little out to in, to have a little bit more of an upright, maybe slightly close start line to get mm -hmm. the ball starting left, so that it just it just peels back. It's more of a pull, pull draw as opposed to a push draw. Because yeah. I feel like I'm the opposite. Not that anybody cares, but like if the face is open, I'm reacting too much yeah. to the other. When I start doing this, yeah. the ball goes that way. Okay, yeah. just curious. I, I totally do not want to anymore see a rightward start line anymore. I'm, gotcha. I'm trying to work work away. Good to know. Okay, cool. Good swing there. Okay, these three have been, you know, playable, manageable. Yeah. 
I just that one there, spin rate 3150. Too much. See, the thing that I'm noticing with this driver, and you, if you hit, you've hit them all relatively center punch, right? I mean, close enough? Nope, not far away. Okay. Yeah, not so, too far. But your spin's gone from 1900 to 3100. It's up and down, up and down. Yeah. Making what looks from here is like relatively, you know, you're four to five up. Path's okay. You know, it's pretty neutral path, most of them. Mm. Typical that miss for you, too, is that little kind of bottom heel, right? And, and it's just, it's, it's for right now where I'm in my swing, it's still, still delivering with a little bit too much right side bend. So when I do that, I do kind of deliver the heel to it and a little bit too much loft. Mm -hmm. So the more I get sort of where I'm getting with my irons, I'm really close to being where I need to be with the irons and I'm, I need to get a lot closer with the driver. Okay, so hit one more and I'm gonna show you something. I got a couple of options for okay. you. Is it like eight out of 10 there? Um, a wee bit, six and a half. Six and a half, Healy. okay. Okay, so this is the idea behind the Triple Diamond Max. Same size as Triple Diamond, but it's smashed down. Smashed down means longer heel to toe, shallower profile. It spins a little bit more than Triple Diamond, um, it's slightly more forgiving, but it's a little bit easier to turn over. Now you hit AI Smoke Max very, very well. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of that has to do with the shape of the head. I think the Agreed. I think that the the heads that are a little bit taller from uh, top to bottom, for some reason, I think you're similar to me, where I think you actually need a little bit less face rotation. I think a lot of that's just not getting enough face in the ball. I think this might be a good head for you, but yeah, I don't know. you've been saying that for a little bit. Yeah. So we'll see. I don't know. I could be wrong. Been wrong before. You can ask my kids, but we're gonna find out. So this is Triple Diamond Max. Ian, this is um, it's a nine head. It's, it's lasered at seven, eight, and I put it at minus one for a very specific reason. I want to see you hit one at a really low loft. Okay. I just want to see how you react to the head. It's a little easier to turn over this thing. Yeah, I just want to see what a shallower profile at a lower loft, what you do. I just want to see how you, basically how you react. See, because that, that's that same, mm -hmm. same strike location, a little bit low in the head. Mm -hmm. Boy, it's almost carbon copy what you've been doing. Yeah. Okay, keep going. I like the profile though, J Dub. Yeah. It's uh, I love the I love the squash down mm -hmm. frame. You're a, either a pull draw or a slight push draw when you're hitting it good. Like if I've seen you hit enough good drivers, they're all kind of the same, same kind of shape. I would like that to be. I'd love to be pull, <clears throat> pull, fade, or straight. Yeah. That's the two. So I'm going to play with a face angle here in about one second. This is at, you know, this is damn near seven degrees aloft right now, so. That was the closest one to a good one so yeah. far. Of all of them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the number is the highest ball speed you've had. Yeah. And you're not your fastest right now, but 12 launch at 2,500 spin, I'd say we're about 200 RPMs over the optimal launch at 12. And I, I would say right now I'm giving up probably Four miles an hour, four or five miles an hour club speed to tr to be working really hard at this this and can call it new delivery. Good. Like I, I'm, I've totally given up on the whole like hang back, crank at right. it that using way. the ground and the, the yeah. long the yeah. long drive swing. That's all that was. Yeah. This is I'm trying to make a golf course swing. All right, let me see it real quick. I don't know how to. You guys got the. Can you put the just put it what what would be a neutral standard, Mike? Yep. And then we're gonna go after another one after that, which is a head that I jerry-rigged on the truck. I'm gonna show it to everybody. It's Triple Diamond Plus. This is super tour soft, but what I did is I moved a little bit of internal weight up forward, so I have a feeling this is gonna be the head Ian's gonna like, but that I wanna see how he does unreal it. unreal looking. Okay. Right. Cute. And we did this in that first tour video that we did last year with Paradigm. You hit one of these heads. Right. But the only difference is, is that that one didn't have any weight forward. This one does. That's the one he hates. Mm. Well, do you know what? I, I, I hated the swing. I really didn't hate the result. I thought I was going to peel way more than that. Okay. That was okay. I mean, I'm, you'll find that one 12 yards offline. Like that, honestly, no business being 12 yards off. It's funny. You and I are sl so, I mean, granted, you said you're four miles an hour slower, but like, your stuck swings are the, are the same one, same numbers as mine, where you're, you know, when you make room for yourself, this, yeah. you know, you're 112, one low 160s. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, let's see another one. 
That's good. I wish I could just lift that strike. That's angle attack. If I can stay down on it a little bit more. But that's historically where the miss is, so I kind of have to build it into the fit as of right now. Okay, so we're at 29.73. It's still spinning like a mother. Do you have that way forward? I yeah. do, but what I, I mean, the other option. The 12 is forward and the 8, sorry, 12 is back, the 8 is forward. We need to, I, I, I want to move the weights. Let me move the weights around. Very quick. So the numbers I would like to see right now would be 12 launch, 2200 spin, like three or four times in a row. Like Lovely. 163, 164 ball speed. Closer. Strike height was much better there. Sounded better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got way more out of it too. Ball had a little bit more, more snooze on it. Ball speed went up, 163, almost 164. Spins comes down a touch. Yep. Do you feel like you're fighting the face angle a little bit? or do No, I, I no? don't. I feel just like if we had five, six grams of hot melt to put in the toe, mm -hmm. and we can just take, if we went no, like... neutralize the face a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like, I like the 12 in the front. I, I can feel the face a little bit more, right. weirdly. I just feel like the, the dynamic loft isn't kicking up as much. Yeah, so if you put a four gram weight instead of an eight gram weight in the back... And, and put, you know, four or five grams weight of weight in the toe, I think it would be so close. I like that, that they're all good. starting off on the same out of the same window though. Yeah. Yep. I mean that's if anything, that's a positive. Comes out a bit flatter too, that thing. And like if you look at where the strike yeah. location has been, like it's starting to really It get spins better. 300 RPMs too much. So I think I feel like if you move a little bit of weight, take a little bit of weight out of the back. Yeah. Neutral. Yeah. A little bit of weight out of the back. And like you said, maybe a little bit of weight in the toe, like three grams in the toe, just to stabilize the face a little bit more, then you might have Felt pretty close there, boys. Strike sounded good. Yeah. How's this sit compared to that Triple Diamond Max? I love that footprint Ooh, that of the really, Triple Diamond Max. That was really good there. Yeah. 12, 12 and 24. at 2400, dude. If you could do that every time, you'd be in mm. business. Especially on a slightly toy one, just have enough spin just mm. to kind of keep it, keep itself in the air. In my hunch with this driver is the more, the further down your angle of attack gets, the better you're going to hit this. That's kind of how I looked at this driver for you. That's money there. Yeah, so that, that was me trying to be I love that. more Stay down. on top of it a little bit more. I try not to be like five and a half up. Try to be three or so up. Yeah. Same, same, almost 13 at 24. Yep. It's close. The other thing people are probably learning in this video versus our video we did last year with all the Paradigm Tour stuff, you're, you're seeing clear, pretty clearly that the tour, tour issued stuff Ain't faster, ain't... No, yeah, it's not all juiced no, up. Like, yeah. No. That was another reason I wanted you to hit your TSR first. Because there's no, there's, no, there's no version of this video where I, I hand you a tour issue and all of a sudden you're hitting 170 yeah, yeah. perfect numbers. It doesn't exist. Like it's... Drivers today are what wedges were 15 years mm -hmm. ago. Wedges now with grind options and all the different, you know, little sort of subtle nuances. In drivers, you've kind of had one or the other, right? Yeah. You've had a more forgiving one and a and a more sort of technical one that can be adjusted. Then you add in little nuances like triple diamond or, or yeah, triple diamond plus or, or max, whatever. It's just little subtle start line differences, CG location, looks, some have weight, some yeah, have don't. the way it looks at, at minus one, it's the way just, it looks at yeah. plus one, like it's all... It's all just options, isn't yeah. it? But uh, no, th this looks good. Okay. Really uh, pretty comfortable with it as well. I'll have to just catch one just a little. More in the middle. Closer to the middle, just left the face a little open. So I think of the two that we're trying today, closer with this one than you were with the Max. I think the Max is still gonna spin too much. Even though you just spun that one at 3,000, but that was a little heel side, right? Yeah. Mm. Just a little high toe there, but. Pretty good for high toe. This driver does great in the high toe. Yeah. 2200 and 1400. See, that's out of the high toe. Pretty good. Yep. Ooh. That was just a bare sound, wasn't it? Oh, it's got some gas to it. Brazzy, hold on. Whoa. I could beat out ye old gamer, that's Whoa. for sure. That was nice. 13 at 18. 
That was nice. We're in unicorn territory here, boys. He's feeling it right now. He's feeling it. I'm just going to say, that one looked like that wanted to be that poofy right one, but it yeah, has no, no it was business good. doing it. because it's very good. See, look at that spin. So that, so that same, same shot with the other two drivers was 27, 2800. If we rewind to the start of the video, it's exactly what we said. I have no fear of the 18, 1900. Never have if I'm delivering it well. Right. That was the first one. The second one was the slight open face, maybe a little bit, little bit open, and still had 287 in it. Yep. 2400. Yep. That ball's not out of your hand either. It's you're you're finding that one. Yeah. Mm. Here it is. That was Don's boys. That was a bit toy. Really good. Toy. I always knew you should be in a triple diamond driver all season. It's good, isn't it? Just doesn't listen. So these numbers, so that was a toe shot at 12 at 20, 2200 for argument's sake. Those last three are, sub, I don't want to say substantially better than everything we've hit before, but they're just better. Like it's just, it's Way noticeably better. better. Yeah, faster, yeah. tighter spin window, like, the window's way better. Yeah, the, I was gonna say, the, better. the observer would say you look more comfortable. The, I feel a bit more comfortable. Right. But. The little extra speed on your gamer that you've had where you're like, I'm just trying to feel it and, and yeah. not kind of go at them. You're still doing the same thing, but it's faster, further. Launch and spins, unreal. These are really... You're getting uh, excited over there. Very, Scotsman. Yeah. 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 I almost smile. <laughs> now this feels good. This, All right, let's hit one more. And, uh, this feels good. See, so if that's your wipey one, totally. that's bit, pretty good. Bit of a miss, yeah, you can play that miss all day. I mean, you're still carrying a 280. 2400 spin. Yeah, I mean. This I, is the unicorn head that we've been looking for, that one that just doesn't. Whoop, doesn't go way up, the, doesn't, yeah. you know, doesn't too, super far down. You don't need that, you know, yeah. slap in the face when you just miss it. And it's mm -hmm. not far out, but, mm -hmm. you know, just miss it enough. Really so. like it. Really, really like it. That's impressive. So final specs. Nine degree neutral just shows you how big of a difference the CG being forward is to this whole thing. That seems to manage the, the spike and spin, mm -hmm. you know, quite a lot. Um, and I love the face being square. Square. Like I, I've been struggling with the face being a touch open in some of them. And I think with the titles, that's what I loved about it. But this one doesn't have the, the spike and spin. Yeah, the, the, the high right one is, like you just said a second ago, it's playable. Yeah. You miss it right all day long, and yeah. if that's your miss. I think going from 50 to 60 grams, I think it's a, a, sort of a heavier driver for you as well. I feel like you're yeah. timing that whole, that whole package up pretty well. Without a doubt. This is just trying to build a, a gamer. Mm -hmm. You know, not, not a bomber. You know, we've been bombing it with the 5X. And, you know, I still, still probably play around the 5X, but this feels really good. I was, oh. the, the nice thing also is there's a place to go, meaning like you could still move that to upright or you could get a flat cog and move yeah. that to upright to get it f yeah. going a little bit further, starting a little bit further left. You have, as it sits right now, it's pretty damn good, yeah. but you still have a place to go, which is nice to know. So like, Agreed. I'm curious to see what that does in the golf course. Um, glad I brought all these tour heads off so you can just end up with the one that <laughs> you already had. The one that I got. Perfect. Thank you, Dave Neville. Well, chestnut <laughs> checkers, baby. Yeah, no kidding. Dave Neville at Callaway, this video is for you. This is for you, Neville. But uh, good video. I mean, we were doing a video today of fitting in for a driver. It's, I mean, with those numbers, pretty tough to well, This goes in the mix now, doesn't totally. it? So, like, of the other options that we've got, and there's, there's some other, you know, viable candidates, what I would have described as what I'm looking for is what this has just done. Totally. So I would love to see a, a world where you're in a nine. Like, I would love to see you in two years. Mm -hmm in a 10 and a half degree too. driver I would with too. those numbers. That, because that means my delivery is on the right track. Because you're like me, you're having to cheat with loft to get the same numbers that you would have like a, if your delivery was a little better, but now best, best driving season I had on the course um, was an M2, it's 2016 M2 with a, a 10C white when it first came out. Yeah. Like that one, 10.5 set a little open was, was the best. Nuke thought. City. Mm -hmm. Went so far that driver. That was great. Nuts. I've heard about the M2 on about three different videos. Yeah. 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 That was a beauty. There you go. Very cool. Well, J-Dub, thank you for bringing us some um, tour gear. Hello. Always great to see you. Yep. Um, finally, a smile out of the Scotsman, which is nice. No more pounding on the golf course with his drives. We're no. getting there. We've got a match to win next week, so... No, it's a process. To watch Sorry him hit process. drives like this, uh, it's good to see. Warms your heart, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, it's nice to see. Okay. Awesome. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you again soon.